This is Ben with BkashaAudio.com. In this video, we'll look at how you can use an Ableton Live-like drum rack in Reaper. There's a lot of great resources on the Reaper website itself, and under the Project and Track Templates category, there is something called Redrums Mixer Mode. This was created by a user, Labyrinth, and what it does is it takes several resampleomatic plugins, places them on a single track, and then routes the sends of those plugins out to individual tracks. This gives you a very Ableton Live drum rack or MPC style sampler and mixer. So this allows you to load your samples into each samplematic and then process and mix them individually. You can download this directly from the Reaper website and I'll include a link in the video description. Now you can open this session up and what it gives you is a track called Redrums. If we expand the mixer section, you can select one of the resampleomatics and select what sample you want on the track. So I have a kick drum here, a snare on the next one. If I wanted to add something to percussion too, I could drag some media over or browse for it directly and say I wanted to place a symbol. I can select a symbol and that will be mapped to a pad. Now for this demonstration I'm using an Akai MPD32 which looks like this and the question is how do we limit each individual pad to play a single note and the way that you do that is in the resampleomatic for the note start and the note end you set it to the specific MIDI note that the pad is sending out. So by default this is set up for those Akai style pad controllers but if you're using something different like a Novation launch pad or a keyboard that has a different mapping for the drum pads you can simply find out what note those pads are sending and map the uh, resample matic to just that note for each individual sound. So this is great because I can map each sound to a drum pad, play it live if I want, and it allows you to process each sound individually. I think this makes things a lot easier when working with drums in Reaper as opposed to dragging each individual sample around on the grid. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my website for some additional tutorials.